My name is Pablo Centurion and I'm a tattoo artist at a Forever Ink Tattoo Shop. So this is Forever Ink Tattoo Shop. It's pretty big. It's a pr pretty big blue monster, blue everywhere. A lot of artwork around that we've done and me and my co-workers. We have a skateboard shop also. We, se we sell supplies and um, that's pretty much it. Me, myself, I was born in uh, Paraguay. I was raised in Chile. I got to this country, to the United States, when I was uh, 14 years old. I started tattooing when I was 18. I'm 25 right now. I have a few years under my belt. The way I got started as a tattoo artist was um, I was working in restaurants for a little while and then um, later on I got into doing piercings. My older brother was the one that actually did the tattoos uh, at that time. So little by little he started coaching me and training me with the, with the owner of the shop. Little by little I started practicing on, on fruit, on um, practice skin. And then little by little, you know, until, until catching up practice that you can take your first customer. The process of learning tattoos, I guess, kind of depends on, varies from person to person. If you have any, any particular artistic skills, I guess it would be, it, would, it, it should take you no more than a year to be able to, to tattoo a decent piece. Uh, now, if you don't have any ability, of artistic ability at all, it will probably take you somewhere around five years to start to be decent. I forgot my tattoo machines at home. You know? Today, out of all fucking days, man, it's the worst day that I could possibly do this. All right, so, uh, right now we're in a cab going back to my house after I opened up the shop because as a tattoo artist, I forgot my tattoo machines. So I need to make a quick run to get them and then go back to the shop so I can start tattooing an hour after I open. If my boss goes to the tattoo shop right now and he sees that I'm not there, it's my ass on the line. Okay. I'll be right back, right? A regular day at this tattoo shop is, to describe it in one word, would be crazy. Crazy every day. Not only, I guess, in the type of customers that we receive sometimes, also crazy in the type of tattoos that I like to get. The stuff that, like, the staff ourselves, like, you know, the, like, since this is a tattoo shop, you don't really need to be to, um, let's say, careful of your surroundings, you know. It's, if a tattoo shop goes, goes hand to hand with anarchy, rock and roll and stuff like that, you know, so we, we try to keep it as original as possible. Every day over here is an adventure, kind of. Sometimes it could be a good adventure, sometimes it could be a bad adventure, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, a, it's a fulfilling experience. You already pay, Carlos? Uh, he, he uh, paid, 130. Yep. Good adventures, I guess, would be meeting interesting people, for example, uh, I met a couple of uh, rappers that were that were like becoming big in their in in their career. I've met a really good artist. I met the I met some of the crew from Miami Inc. I met some of the crew from um, from other TV shows. Like um, some some crews from like really prestigious places. I've had the pleasure to meet them. Bad experiences, I guess. It would be sometimes maybe stupid customers or or having to do a really a tattoo that you really hate and having to spend hours on it even though you know you don't want to but I guess at the end of the day it's all about experience the most popular tattoos people get I would say anywhere so far it has to be silly names stars and butterflies it doesn't matter where you work unless you work in a really really high class uh, tattoo shop where you can just turn down every customer that asks you for tattoos that you don't want to do. Stars and names and butterflies will always be the most popular tattoo ever. Really bad tattoos that I've done, I guess. I guess it's disappointing to have to do, um, to have to tattoo people that come every day trying to get um, their boyfriends or their girlfriend's names on the neck or on the face or, 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 or stuff that later on they're, they'll wind up regretting knowing that your work and your time is going wasted because later on it's, it's just going to be covered or it's just going to be an icon of uh, shame and regret, I guess, for the, for the customer who received it. I mean, it's so crappy, man, you know, like, oh yeah, I'm getting this, I guess I broke up with my girl, I love her, I never met a girl like her.
girl like that. Shut the fuck up and get your tats, son. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear all your crap. Like, you know? I understand if it's something like, you know, like a, a, a like memorial tattoo or something important, then yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, dude, you're crying, you're crying over this stupid, you know what I'm saying? My, my kitty died, I'm here to get a portrait. This was the best cat in the world. Yeah, right. If I had two of this cat, I would be. What I'm, what I'm into more in art, art wise, my favorite types of art, I guess, would go into Japanese style, um, Japanese artwork. I like doing Japanese tattoos a lot. And then um, also abstracts. Abstracts are my favorite. You know? So I guess color wise, if I'm talking about favorite artists, I guess Kandinsky would be, yeah, something that I would like, I would like to create an effect like, you know, a, a sort of like emotional resonance out of with, with, with my artwork. Um, I guess one of the most beautiful, the ones I'm, 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 I'm most proud of was this half sleeve. This guy wanted to get a, from the movie Memories of a Geisha, he, he wanted to get a, a landscape with a traditional geisha face uh, as, a first, as a first plane. Uh, it took me like about 12 hours, but that one I think is pretty cool. Like he has it on his Facebook and uh, it's very popular. Thanks to him, I have gotten a lot of customers actually, thanks to that tattoo too. So I guess that's the one that I would say defines me the most at this time. The last hour of, of the work shift, I guess, is the most fun hour. Because if you're not already working on a tattoo, you're just praying that there's not a tattoo coming in. And you'll do the best possible to reject the customer if the boss is not around. Then the last hour of the twin, you know. And then after that, maybe, you know, go around with the guys, get a couple of beers, you know, get a little crazy, see what happens.